Hey guys, it's Phantoms Exo Center here, back again with another Exo Center video, and today we're going to be doing Silver Exo Center Comfort, which it is going to be about, like, it's going to be comforting you, but not about disorders or self-harm or anything like that. It's going to be, like, um, example, you, you're watching this video and you can't sleep. It's just going to be Silver Soft Voice, like you two are in bed cuddling and he will be comforting you and telling you stories humming kisses and everything in between and by the way we are so close to a thousand subscribers so i think we are at 9092 or 93 so make sure to hit subscribe so we can keep on going and maybe one day we'll get to that um 10,000 subscribers i'm not saying i need that right now i am just very thankful for a thousand subscribers but then since i got to 1000 or i'm going to get to 1000 we're going to have a celebration and we're going to celebrate and then once i get to a thousand we're going to try to reach 2000 because i'm not going to go to 3000 that fast but you guys are just amazing I, I love you guys a lot and i care about you guys a lot i worry about you and i worry about the lives you have out there mm. i hope you're doing well my instagram and the songs i use will be in the description below mm. another kiss i'll see you guys in the end of the video and by the way i i'm taking my phone case to make videos now because it just doesn't make the buzzing noise but anyway let's get right into the video bye so it was kind of rainy outside and you couldn't sleep after all you had lots of stuff going through your mind and you couldn't take it so you decided to let the other sleep and you let the sleep expert which that's what he calls himself silver because Silver has helped you a few times in the relationship to sleep. But since you didn't want to bother him, once you opened his door, you thought, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should let him sleep this night. And so you went back to your room, but what you didn't know is that he was already awake and that he was going to get up, so he already saw you. So he came up to you in your room and said, Listener, um... Are you okay? I saw you coming into my room earlier and I got a little concerned. No, no, don't be sorry. You can tell me if you need anything, right? You know that. You know you can't be sorry for everything. When you need something, you need it. Now tell me. <laughs> what do you worry about? Because it really seems like you're worried. I had to turn my fan on because it was getting way too hot in here. But anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, y you need help with sleep again? That's no problem. And do you have anything in mind? I've been, um, I've been worried about you and... You've barely talked to me lately, and I usually, you usually open up to me about stuff, and I maybe give you some advice and stuff like that. I've been worried that you've been bottling up your feelings again, and you know that's not good for you, right? Bottling up feelings does no good to somebody. All it does is uh, crumble you up, and the more you shut your feelings, or just bottle them up, the more you become depressed and compressed in that way. So, you tell me what's going on, and I'll lay down next to you, okay? Okay. So basically, you were explaining to him what was going on, and he was just listening, and he laid you down, and you two were cuddling, and he said, Hmm. I understand. It's almost like the same thing you told me last time, but a little more complex. But <clears throat> I'll make sure you'll be safe, okay? There's nothing to worry about. You know, 
you're safe here with me and the others. And we'll always be here to listen to you. And if they're not here, you know I'm always home early and sometimes I take a few days off. So you can always tell me anything. You know that, right? My love. Now, you really need some sleep. I know you've been having sleepless nights. I know it's been really hard for you. So, please get some sleep. Mm -hmm. I'll be here the whole time. Don't worry. I'm not going to go to my bedroom. You know I'm not like that. I sleep right here next to you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay. Trust me. I love you, okay? <sighs> now go on. Have some rest, okay? Be right here. He, um, he pulled you a little closer. He had one of his hands, um, kind of like gently rubbing your head, but running his fingers through your hair, like, um, basically what everybody does to you, <laughs> but I have no, like, way of explaining it, because it's just a really good feeling. Um, then he had one hand on your waist or back while he was holding you, that's what he did. And then he yawned. I wonder why you have so many things going through your mind. And I wonder what made it this way. I wish you were happy. I wish we could all be happy. Or well, if it could only be the way a happy fairy tale could be. Things would be much easier, wouldn't it? I bet they would, but that's simply just how life works, and we all have to go through it. And life isn't easy. It won't be easy. It doesn't take it easy on anybody. Life is different for everybody. Hmm. And I wish your life was better, happier, and just the way you want it, the way you like it. I didn't want it to be this way for you. Nobody does. We all just want you to be happy. He just basically was talking to himself while you were asleep. <sighs> I love you, listener, so much. You know that? <sighs> you woke up like a few hours later. It was like in the morning. And Silver was like half asleep. He was still holding you, still in the same position. And he was just mumbling and humming a little bit. Mm-hmm.
I didn't even see, did I wake you up with my humming? <laughs> oh, I didn't. Well, that's good, actually. Do you need anything? Hmm. You just woke up for no reason. Well, that's okay. I can stay up with you. No, no, it's okay. I've done this before, listener. Sometimes I just don't go to sleep and I stay up with you. Or I either just stay up by myself. And I know it's not healthy like I tell you to have sleepless nights and I stay up myself sometimes. And I break my promises saying that I won't overwork myself. I know. Just try and rest, honey, okay? I don't want you staying up stressing about things and about yourself and things like that. Mm -hmm. How long has it been? You know, we have to change your bandages, right? Or if you keep it on for too long, it might get infected. Sonic said the same thing. Two hours, that's long enough. So he basically changed the bandages that were in your wrist, more Vaseline, more bandages, and he got like, you two got a cup of milk, milk, and maybe you like chocolate milk, maybe you like strawberry milk, warm milk, tea, coffee, whatever you'd like you got, and he said, hmm, so, how's your drink? Since I don't know what you guys like. <laughs> Mine's just fine. A little bit of tea at this hour in the morning is just fine and perfect. <sighs> Not as perfect as you, though. You're the most perfect thing in the world, you know that? <laughs> Don't say no to that. It's the truth, listener. You're the most perfect thing I've ever seen and met most perfect person i know nobody's perfect but everybody has their own perfection in their own way they can't be the perfect human but they have their own perfection like you do i love the way you are and can we keep it that way don't try and change yourself okay honey just keep it that way how about this Everybody has a small nickname for you, right? How about I call you my little pumpkin? Okay, pumpkin? <laughs> okay. If pumpkins had lives, you know they would also be asleep at this hour, right? Right. And they would all be awake at sunrise. Now, what should you be doing, pumpkin? Then, you should be asleep, right? Mm hmm Run along now. I'll be upstairs in a minute, okay? Love you. I love you more. He washed the cups and he went upstairs to find you passed out asleep, probably. He got in bed and let out a soft sigh. <sighs> How could I have fallen in love with something so perfect as you? Something so sweet, humble, and calm. I love you so much, listener. Just the way you are makes everything better. You make my day better. Day, afternoon, and night. Every day, every year, and every month that goes by. I hope it can stay like this forever. Mm. 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 <sighs> now, have a good sleep, and I'll be here next to you, okay? <sighs> Probably going to take a quick nap. Mm. Yeah, a quick little nap one. Won't be bad.
So in the morning, it was just you two, and he was making your favorite drinks for both of you, and he sat you down, fed you, he made sure you ate everything, and he said, you know I'm very proud of you, right? I'm so proud of you, listener. Hmm. Can we maybe do this weekly, or... Even if you want, every day, I can do this, monitor you, and make sure you're okay, because I don't want you worrying about just like you do every night. So, can we keep it this way? Okay, little pumpkin. I love you, okay? Now, I'll be upstairs if you need me. That's all for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are subscribed because, like, 24% uh, of you are subscribed and, like, 78% of you are not subscribed. So, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> and we are we're so close to 1,000. If 1,000 subscribers. Pro I probably already hit 1,000. I don't know. Maybe I lost a subscriber. But I'll see after I edit my video. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Which is Tales X Listener Comfort. Kind of a sleep aid like this one. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Which my Instagram and the songs I use will be in the description below. Mm -hmm. Love you. Bye.